Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all around the taxonomies module. So this is a custom module that is used to display and customize taxonomies on your website. So let's take a look at this. If you want, you can follow along with the written documentation. I'm going to try to cover most of that in this video, but of course the video will be a little better because you'll be able to see what we're doing. So what I have here is a brand new page and I already have my taxonomies set up. I have descriptions added and images added thanks to our plugin. But now I want to create a section on, let's say my homepage that displays all of my categories. So this could be blog post categories. It could be WooCommerce product categories, um, event categories, you know, learn dash categories, whatever it is, you could display the categories. And then when someone clicks on the item, it'll go to that specific page in the theme builder. Okay. So let's just get started. I'll show you about the module Divi taxonomy helper. And then here are all of the settings in the module. So it's very normal. It's very much like a normal Divi module. Okay. All right. So the first thing you'll notice here is post type. Now this will list all of the post types on your website. For me, it happens to be uh, these four. Um, in Divi, it will always be post and projects. And then if you have WooCommerce, they'll have products and I have the events calendar. So I also have events. So I could choose for one of these. I'll just choose post. Now, based on the post type, then any taxonomies that are associated with that post type will appear here. All right. So watch this. If I choose um, products, well then product categories and tags are the options. You understand. So if I choose events, well then event categories is an option. Okay. So I'll just choose posts and that'll be the normal uh, blog post and then blog post categories. There you go. Now, if I don't choose any, any of these options here, now here you can see a list of all the ones on the site. We've added this nice little number. So you know how many there are. We also added this little dash so you can see like the hierarchy. You know, if there's a grandchild, parent and child, um, hierarchy. So that's kind of cool. That's a little thing we've added that you don't normally see in Divi. Currently you see six of them because this taxonomy terms count is set to six. So it's just showing, I guess the first six, which is a good lead way into the order. You can choose how to order these. Do I want to order them by title, by the count, like how many um, posts are in there in each one or random. And then you can choose ascending and descending based on that. But one thing to point out, if you have uh, the count lower than the actual number, then you may want to go down here to elements and turn on pagination. All right. So you can see the pagination at the bottom. Or if you were selecting specific items. So like if you know, like you have all of these taxonomy terms, but you only really want, you know, um, certain ones, right? Then you could just start selecting them. Right. So just whatever they happen to be here and you'll see that they'll appear and that'll be it. Like the rest, it's kind of like, um, either all, if none of them are selected or then if some are selected, then just those that are selected. Okay. So you could do that choose very specific ones. And that's, that's a great way to do it. So the one I kind of skipped here, dynamic taxonomies and current posts. So if I would put this module into a blog post, we're into a blog post template and let's say that blog post was in, uh, you know, the cycling category or the exercise category or both, then whichever category that post is in will display in the grid, right? So like if I'm looking at a blog post and the blog post is categorized as cycling and exercise, then these two will display and then I can click on there and go to the category. So that's kind of a nice, that's, that would just be what that was uh, setting is for. All right, moving on here, we have a description length. We set it at 270, which is the default in WordPress and Divi, like a, like an excerpt, right? But it's a description, right? So you could change that length and then you can change this button text. And most of the times you would want to. So if these are posts that I could say something like, um, view posts, right? So you more than likely will want to change the button text. Layout, you can choose the number of columns, one through six. 
Okay, and something to note is you will want to do this for responsiveness. Like you want to like if I have three here, then you'll want to choose um, something like one on phone and on tablet maybe something more like two. Okay, so make sure you adjust that. Here's a spacing between setting, so you can kind of see what it's doing there. It's adjusting the space between. All right, and then elements, you can like um, turn things on and off. Here you can show the post count, so it'll say how many are in there. I've seen that a lot on categories, you know, WooCommerce product categories. I've seen how it says how many like products are in that category. You can turn off the description or the button, um, the title. I'm not sure why you would ever want to turn the title off, but um, the, you, you can you can do that, okay? Um, the image, you can choose to turn them off, and then look what happens. If you turn off the images, there's actually a new setting here. It says use icons. So I could actually turn use icons on now. So it's either images or icons. The images are the ones you set in the back end in the individual terms. Now if I choose use icons, now I could go to the design tab over here to icons and all of the items here I can choose an icon for it. So let me look for a couple of these here. Uh, let's see, cycling is one that we have added. Um, you can see it adds the icon right there. Exercise is one we've added. So then you know then you could go in the design tab here and adjust that. Check that out. The spacing, everything. So you could use icons instead of images if you want to. And that actually is a good segue. I think we've covered everything there. In the design tab, so you have taxonomies, and that's the whole like the whole item. Okay. In fact, here let me show you. See, it's like the whole the whole thing, right? And I could even add some space here, and you would see exactly what I'm talking about. And everything here that you would need: border, box shadow, the spacing. You can do the same thing for images. You can you can control the image width and height. Um, and if you want to have it contain or cover, and then spacing, alignment, borders, box shadow. We already looked at icons, okay? And then title text, all the normal font settings, count text when you have the post count on, description text, and then the button. Use custom styles and you can, you know, customize the button again. These are all pretty normal Divi settings. All right, hope that's helpful. A little overview there of all the settings. A lot of settings, a lot of content settings, and a lot of design settings. Pretty much everything you need um, to display you know, your taxonomy. So again, this is great for WooCommerce product categories, uh, project categories, you know, blog post categories, event categories, Learn Dash, Lifter Element, all these like things where you want to have like the course categories and topic categories, all that stuff is possible now with this very unique plugin. So I hope you enjoy. And um, if you need any other help, we have a couple of other documentation videos and of course all the written documentation as well. All right, we hope you enjoy using the Divi Taxonomy Helper plugin.